All right, so let's talk about Hawkeye episode five. This episode is one I like to call the rebuilding episode. It's right before the finale, which is next week. And a lot of times when you watch these shows, the second to last or the third to last episode is usually the, what, what I would call the calm before the storm, where it's much more laid down, it's much more relaxed, a lot less action, more of a focus on storyline and building to the big finale because you know the big finale will be the episode that will have the crazy final action sequence. And this episode was kind of like that. You know, these shows follow a formula, but the reason for that is because that's how it works. You know, you have like the up, the ebbs and flows and the ups and downs. So episode five was called Ronin. And uh, there's a couple of different plot points going on. You know, in the previous episode, Hawkeye told Kate to go home and that, you know, it was over and that their adventure was done. This episode focused on really mostly on three different characters, and that would be Black Widow, Florence Pugh's Black Widow, Yelena, the Hawkeye stuff, which really came off like a Steven Seagal movie. He's trying to protect his family, and, you know, he knows what's up with the mob and what's really going on, and uh, the storyline with Kate kind of trying to win back Clint's graces, if, if that makes sense. Was it a little bit rushed? I think maybe the Kate storyline may have been rushed, but that's probably because they focused a bit too much on the Yelena storyline, excuse me. They delved more into her backstory than the Black Widow movie and made her a bit more of a sympathetic character. And the way she interacts with Kate, like that's kind of the bridge so that maybe she can, you know... I don't want to say become a good guy because she kind of already is and we know where it's going, but so that maybe she finds out what really happened to her sister, you know, and that's not really, uh, you know, Clint's fault, you know, what happened or whatever, based on the the end credit scene of uh, Black Widow. So um, I really like the scene of Kate and her mom, like being humanized early in the episode because of how it built up to the big reveal at the end. I know... I know everyone's going nuts for the big reveal at the end. I'm going to talk about that here in this video, but I want to talk about some other things too that to, so that it kind of ties into how it builds up. You know, seeing like her mom reminisce on Kate when she was a kid, like that's all good stuff because Kate may be in fact, you know, they may be at, a, at on different sides of this whole thing. So they have this meeting with Yelena and Kate and they basically it's the episode or the scene in the episode that's supposed to have similarities or have them realize their similarities as characters. Same thing with Echo. Echo somebody else who can relate. Um, and then what was interesting is that the cops arrested Swordsman. But that's not going to be the last we see of him. Because he's got to have tie-ins with the big boss. Um, I, I really thought it was interesting that Hawkeye would have to stay in someone's couch on Christmas. And they even brought that up about how wild that is. But, you know, it just goes to show that even if you save the world, you might not necessarily be treated like a rich person. Um, the fight with Echo and the Ronin was a really good fight. Hawkeye reveals himself as the Ronin to Echo and basically punks her out to protect this family. You know, he understands that she went through a really hard time losing her father and whatnot, but that they're very similar. And the whole, this episode really had a lot of, like, we're not that different vibes going on. You know, same thing with, I mentioned earlier with Yelena and with Kate, like there's, there's characters that you would think would be at odds, but they all have some commonalities. That's kind of what this episode, what I would say the theme of this episode was. So Ronan kicks her ass, pretty much, but tries to get her to chill, like I mentioned. And uh, she reverses it on him, but Kate saves him. So, interestingly enough, you know, I thought Kate saving Clint, I was expecting that for episode six. Would, that they would actually pay it off there, that they would be away from each other for a little bit, and then Kate would come in and rescue him in episode six, but it happened here, and we haven't seen the last of Echo either, at least not in this show. We know she's coming back for her own show, but not in this show. So the end of the episode, we have a couple of big reveals. Okay, we have to talk about this. So Eleanor Bishop, because we find out the whole thing is who hired the Black Widow to take out Clint and take out his family and whatnot. And then, and then we find out that it's Eleanor Bishop who is, you know, Kate Bishop's mom. So that's going to be a really interesting plot twist. And they show a picture of her with someone. And then Hawkeye says, that's the guy I've been worried about. That's the Kingpin. And they look at the phone and it is indeed, it is indeed the Kingpin. It's a picture of Wilson Fisk with Eleanor Bishop, 
and that's the big cliffhanger. This did leak a few weeks ago. I did a video on it. I wasn't the only one, but it looks like we are going to indeed get, and I'm very happy about this, the Kingpin. Not only the Kingpin in the MCU, that's already exciting. That's already great. But it's going to be Vincent D'Onofrio. And yes, the Kingpin did wear his trademark um, white suit. And Vincent D'Onofrio is going to be portraying him in the Hawkeye series. And that's really exciting because, to me, the best part of the Daredevil series was the Kingpin. That was the best part. That character of, of the Kingpin, the way he behaved, Vincent D'Onofrio as an actor... You know, first time I ever saw him was back during Full Metal Jacket, you know, many, many, many years ago. But uh, Vincent D'Onofrio portraying the Kingpin in the MCU is definitely a dream come true. I was kind of hoping that he would have, or at least, well, we'll see. Because, see, after Spider-Man No Way Home, the Peter Parker, Tom Holland, Peter Parker storyline will continue. And I really do hope the Kingpin is at least making a cameo in a Spider-Man movie because... He is a Spider-Man villain, and he's also one that can really be tied into a lot of different characters in the MCU, including Charlie Cox, including several other characters coming in. But the question is, is this going to be a variant of the Daredevil Kingpin, or is it going to be um, the same one from the Daredevil series? And they've always been there the whole time, so are they going to basically like double retcon Daredevil. Because remember, at first, Daredevil was supposed to be part of the MCU. Then they had like a fight internally, and they said that the Netflix shows were not part of the MCU canon. Now they might be saying they are again. So it's, you know... Personally, as long as it's Vincent D'Onofrio playing him, I, I'm happy, you know, and it is. And it is, of course... Um, it's not the same image that leaked, you know, a few weeks ago, but... It's definitely him. We're going to see him in episode six. So that was a very, very smart thing they did by teasing him. Overall, this episode, I know I really liked the scene where Kate was like calling Clint like a crazy ex-girlfriend, leaving all those voicemails. I mean, that's how it came off to me. Um, I I'm wondering if Clint's going to die. I mean, I I'm staying away from spoilers because next week is the big finale. And uh, man, you know, phase four has not been the best and Hawkeye is definitely not the best show in phase four but they certainly are like in a rebuilding phase right now you can tell they are they're kind of rebuilding after the events of Endgame and it might take longer than expected but uh so far so good what can I say did you like episode five of this show of Hawkeye I thought it was pretty good um but it wasn't that good it's not really one that I need to watch like and, and okay don't think I'm one of those guys who says you know Oh, it has to be action. That's not what I'm saying here, but a lot of this stuff did kind of drag. But it's also building up for the last episode, so I feel like the way it's supposed to be viewed is maybe episodes five and six are supposed to be one big one-two punch. You know, that could be what's going on here. But overall, probably my least favorite episode of Hawkeye. Um, the series itself is fine. I, again, it's, I, I, it's not like the best Marvel series. It's not one that I'm excited to rewatch. But I'm glad they're going down to more of a street-level story and not the multiverse cosmic stuff. So, anyways, that's it. And uh, tomorrow, I will be here for my Spider-Man No Way Home review. Non-spoiler. And then I'll do a spoiler one after. Thanks again. Have a great day. We'll talk soon.